welcome to marine engineering hub this is your narrator ravi gupta today we can talk about two stage turbocharging in today video we will see what are the benefit of two stage turbocharging then we will see what are the drawback of two stage turbocharging then we will see what is the present scenario of two stage turbocharging and before beginning the video i want to tell you that i have made video regarding surging turbocharger series i will keep this in the description box you can watch it from there let's begin the today video two stage turbocharging so in two stage turbocharging it consists of a two turbocharger which help to compress the air in stages first stage second stage so basically what is happening here you can see the exhaust manifold the exhaust is coming out and suppose the exhaust which is coming out is having temperature of 450 the exhaust energy is utilized and after the energy is being utilized the exhaust temperature out is 350 okay now this exhaust energy 350 is going up and again it is further utilized by a second stage turbocharger and after utilization it is going to the uptake the remaining energy temperature is 200 degree celsius so the exhaust which is coming out from 400 degree celsius to 200 degree celsius we have used that energy in stages so what do i mean by using the energy in stages is basically we are using that energy to drive the turbine which is helping to compress the air so in first stage turbocharging what we are doing we are compressing the second stage compressor air and in second stage turbocharging we are compressing the first stage compressed air so what is basically happening while we are doing the second stage turbocharging means 350 to 200 degrees celsius at that time the air inlet is taking place and it getting compressed from one bar to 2.5 bar after it getting compressed the air has gained heat that is been cooled and after that the more amount of air is going from here to second stage compressor okay which is the drive from first stage turbocharger that 2.5 bar air is getting further compressed to 4.5 bar and after that it passing again to an cooler air cooler and after that it is go going to the scavenge manifold so basically in two stage turbocharging the two stage compressor is provided with an intercooler okay this intercooler is helping to increase the amount of air okay so let's see now a series of lecture although modern single stage turbocharger have a high pressure ratio they suffer from poor acceleration and poor low speed torque characteristic due to surge limitation so these are the limitation of single stage turbocharging what that is poor acceleration and poor torque speed characteristic because of that the two stage turbocharging came into picture now mitsubishi used two stage turbocharging in the late 1970s on the uec e type two stroke engine in a bid to increase the power output so in 1970 mitsubishi uses the first two stage turbocharging venture but the venture was very short lived because of the increase in the fuel cost okay now what are the benefit of two stage turbocharging high overall turbocharger efficiency can be increased with two stage turbocharging so first the benefit is that turbocharger efficiency can be increased because it is possible to have intercooling between the two stages this this intercooling between the two stages of the compression is increasing the 
turbo charger efficiency of the amount of air which is getting compressed by the using the exhaust energy therefore this is reducing the work compression work needed in the second stage turbo charger okay now it has clear benefit of keeping within the strength limit of known material and allowing the operating field of a compressor and turbine to be optimized for a wide range very very important so basically it is allowing us to work efficiently within the temperature range means by keeping the temperature range within the limit we are getting higher efficiency okay these are the two benefit first is that one is the intercooler in between the first stage and second stage because of which the work done by second stage will be less and also the amount of air getting compressed is also more which is not written here and second is the benefit of the material means material wise we are increasing the efficiently output of the system without making any use of a superior material okay now let's see the drawback the major drawback of two stage turbo charging is a complex arrangement of a air and exhaust duct it require much more space which in any case restricted in chip engine room so the problem of the two stage turbo charging is the foremost is the space okay because you can see how much complex arrangement is this because of this complex arrangement it require a lot of space you will get this idea see this is the engine now you can see this is a two stage turbo charging okay here you can see now you can see how the complex the thing is looking how complex situation is looking so and the space the space is also too much required which is not practically feasible in today engine room because we are reducing the space so that we can carry more cargo so for that it is not that efficient now let's see today scenario used today in high speed engine the first stage compressor is driven by second stage exhaust turbine the air then passes through an air cooler before entering second stage driven by the first stage gas turbine this is simply the explanation which i have done before now two stage turbo charger are highly responsive okay so the advantage of the two stage turbo charger is that it is highly responsive means it has good acceleration good speed torque characteristic okay means these are the benefit if anybody say you what are the two stage turbo charger benefit you should say this thing good torque characteristic good acceleration after that one more thing i have told you that without increasing without using the superior material we are increasing the efficiency we are using the same operating material to increase the efficiency efficiency however the load efficiency of two stage of today turbocharger is worse than obtained by a single stage operation now here the thing come now in today engine because of the use of superior material because of the use of superior material what do i mean by superior material means we are able to use that type of material which are not only light in weight but it also capable of withstanding higher temperature and which are also not required that much of cooling this is the property of the superior material because of that material we are getting the benefit of two stage turbo charging in a single stage turbo charger and because of that we don't no longer require two stage turbo charge why because as we have seen the first most problem is the two stage turbo charger is that it require space second it is very complex in nature third the, the third point is very important in low load operation as you know that turbo charger is main is a constant speed constant pressure turbo charging is there system is there so in low load operation we require auxiliary blower 
as I have told in my earlier video that in low operation, loader, loader operation, we need auxiliary blower. So same goes with this type of two-stage turbocharger also. So now this two-stage turbocharger require four low pressure blower and two high pressure blower. Now you can imagine six blower. Six blower is required for this type of turbocharger, which is highly inefficient, highly power demanding, highly consuming electrical energy. Because of this, two stage turbocharging was not a good successful venture. Okay, so now if anybody asks you that what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages of turbo two stage turbocharging, how it works, and draw a simple sketch diagram. So I think you can draw. So if you have any doubt, please comment below. I will give the answer. And please, please, please do subscribe. It's my humble request to all of you. Please do subscribe. Please do share and hit the bell icon. And please do share. Please do share in every platform. I want all our marine friend to come this to the, this platform so that we can learn and grow together my only main aim is to that so that i can impart my own knowledge which i have gained to everybody so that everybody get benefited if you have something more to contribute you are welcome here we are open for discussion and we are very much open for improving thank you friend have a good day.